Hi, my name's Rich Bourne, and I'm the owner of Cruzaro Water and Technotics. And today we're floating here in Morro Bay, California, aboard the sailing vessel Third Day, which is our Hudson Force 50. And we live here in Morro Bay on a mooring. Our two kids go to the local high school, wife heads off to work, and I stay aboard the boat sitting at the desk answering questions about water makers and some of the other products we build and sell. So today I wanted to talk about uh, the need for a dedicated through hole. I've received several questions about this this week, and I think it's an important topic because if you look at everyone's water maker manual, they're going to say, yes, you need a dedicated through hole to pull seawater in to your water maker. But I think it's actually a little more nuanced than that. Everyone says, yes, you need an, uh, your own dedicated through hole to minimize the risks. But I think what everyone is really saying is we want to minimize, minimize the risk of air bubbles and we want to minimize the risk of the other device you're sharing the through hole with competing and being starved for water. So on our boat, our Hudson Force 50, we, we haven't had a dedicated through hole for the water maker in the last several years. We've been sharing a through hole with an inlet fitting for our forward head. But what lets us do that and what we recommend if you need to have a uh, share a through hole is put a hard Y valve in line. That way either the water maker is using that through hole or your other device is using that through hole. You completely minimize the risk of those two devices fighting each other for the inlet flow. The reason why most people say use a dedicated through hole is, uh, is basically from experience. They know that it's riskier because if you put in a T fitting, your chances are you're going to be pulling in air bubbles into your water maker, and water makers do not like air bubbles at all. That can actually damage the membranes when the air bubbles compress. So they know there's a propensity to not want to do it right, so most people just cut to the chase for warranty purposes and customer service phone call headaches and say, nope, you got to have a dedicated through hole. If you don't, that's why your water maker's not working right. That's why you're having the problems you're having. Having. But in truth, if you put a Y valve in on another device, you can easily share a through hole. It just creates a little bit of extra work at startup and shutdown because now, in addition to remembering all the procedures of starting the water maker, you need to remember to turn that Y valve from whatever device you're sharing to your water maker inlet. And I would never, under any circumstances, share a through hole with my main engine or my gin set. And here's, here's pretty much why. You're making water at anchor, the wind comes up, the boat next to you starts dragging. In those type of moments of crisis, you, you want to be able to turn a key and start your engine. You don't want to have anything in between you and that engine. You're going to forget that you were making water, you're going to forget to leave that through hole, and you end up running your engine without cooling water. So I would never share a gin set or an engine cooling water, but a, a forward head, well any head, not just a forward head, but a head intake, a deck wash down, I would have no problem sharing those through holes as long as there's a Y valve installed. Not a T, but a Y valve so that you've, you've put a hard physical block and you can only pull either through the water maker or through your other device. So, you know, I wouldn't do a haul out just to put my water maker through hole in. What I would do is Put, install the water maker, put a Y valve in, even if it's a temporary type of setup. Then the next time you do your haul out for a bottom paint or some other thing, then go ahead and add on to your list to put your own yes, dedicated through hole in. Or if you're the type that just doesn't want another hole below the water line, there's nothing wrong with sharing it with another uh, device as long as you have that Y valve, not a T. To get the T completely out of your mind. You don't want the water maker and your head, for example, fighting against each other, or let the water maker boost pump pull an air bubble in through your other device. That would be bad, and yeah, that could hurt the membrane, and then you have a warranty problem or a user error problem. So really, it's just a matter of, yes, you can share a through hole, but it does take a little extra thinking, remembering to always turn that uh, Y valve and what positions it's in, and it also takes just a little bit of extra care. But if you do it right, there's really no problem in doing that. So if you have any questions on this or other topics water maker related, I'm available seven days a week at rich at cruzrowater.com, or you can go check out our website at cruzrowater.com. And uh, 
do me a favor and help me get away from some of this teak varnishing so I don't mind dealing with emails. All right, have a good day. Until next time, this is Rich with Cruzaro Water. Take care.